Good morning and thank you. When I was growing up on the south shore of Long Island in New York, it was always understood in my family that I was going to go to college. My mom and dad never went. In fact, my dad never even graduated from high school. But they believed with all their heart that education mattered. They understood that it was important because it could provide opportunities for me that they could never have and provide economic mobility that they could never dream of. The phrase, education as a public good, guided our public policy and inspired a generation of, of students to go to college. So I went to college, I went to graduate school, and I'm blessed to end up in a career where I get to help make that dream a reality for so many others. But after 33 years, I see that fundamental principle under attack, unlike at any other time that I can remember. We hear more and more at the very highest levels of our, our, our federal government and our state governments that education no longer matters, that it's no longer a priority for our funding. And as a result, for too many of our students, that ideal is out of reach. So of all of the education challenges that we face today, to me, this is at the heart of them all. We all need to shout down that notion that education doesn't matter. And NACAC is particularly poised to lead in that effort. We all need to find our own, vo our own way to lend our voice to that cause. And serving on NACAC's board is how I feel my experiences and my talents can best be used. I look forward to talking to you more inside about my path here, but I've been blessed to serve on the board of a national association. I've had the chance to lead a number of strategic planning efforts on my campus, uh, and I've been committed throughout my career to helping train and mentor the next generation uh, of enrollment professionals. And so at this point in my life, at this point in my career, supporting the work that you all do every day and ensuring that NACAC continues to be a leading voice in taking back that narrative is how I want to contribute to that cause. Access to education is a public good, and it needs to be a national priority. My parents believe that, I believe it, and I want future generations to believe it too. Thank you for your service and your time. I look forward to seeing you inside.